Mr. Tevano? Yes? Hi, my name's Celia. I'm your nurse. Oh, I've come yes. to Hello. help you walk. The doctor said you needed to uh-huh, start walking. Okay. We'll just take a short walk down the hall. All right. Take my hand. Here, I'll help you. There. Good. Oops, a daisy. Yeah. See, I can do it. I'm a gym teacher, so I know a little bit about mm-hmm. exercise and stuff. Walking. Uh, Mm-hmm. Balance. I know myself. I'm strong. No need to worry. I'll just hold on here. I'm sure there's no problem. See, I can do it. Good. So let's try. Okay. Shall I let go? Yes. Good. Wait. Are you all right? Yeah. Okay. Would you like to sit down over there? Yes. Shall we try? Okay. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Oh. Approximately 300,000 people a year experience serious falls in Switzerland. The majority of these accidents occur nearby or in the home, and they are unrelated to any particular activity. Falls are the most common type of accident among the elderly. Such accidents are not extremely serious, but falls can cause pain, reduce mobility, and increase fear of falling again. People also fall while in hospital. This video is intended for patients and their families. It has been made to inform and help prevent the risks of injury during hospitalization. I am going to have a bruise. We have to tell the doctor about your leg. You need to be careful because the hospital is not like your home. Another patient fell about 10 days ago. It could have easily been avoided. Hello. Uh, hello. Here's your meal. Oh, thank you. I'm so hungry. Good. That's a good sign. Yeah. I'll put it on the table. Are you going to get out? Uh, yes, I can try. There. Ah! Oh, dear. Are you all right? Your bed is mobile, so it can easily be moved. It is important to be sure that the brake is set before you lie down. Your bed can also be raised or lowered according to your or your caregiver's needs. If you want to get out of bed, you must adapt its height so that when you are in a sitting position, you can place your feet firmly on the floor. Do not use your nightstand for leverage. It is also mobile. Use your cane or your walker if you have one. If not, then simply use your bed. Everything moved. Was the bed too high? Ah. There. Have a nice day. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Did you ring? Yes, yes. I have been ringing and ringing, but I couldn't wait. What happened? Well, I couldn't wait. I wanted to go to the WC. I used the the urinal and... And now it's all over the place. Oh, it's all right. It's important that you use the urinal, that you rang for help, and that you didn't try to get up by yourself, that you didn't fall. Everything's fine. Never hesitate to call a caregiver to help you out of bed and accompany you to the WC. You can also use the urinal or bedpan, which is to be found in your nightstand. Being in a hurry only increases the risk of falling. Be careful and call for help even if you have an urgent need. Okay? Thank you very much.
Be sure to use your bedside lamp and wear your slippers when moving about at night. And don't forget your glasses. They will help you see where you are going, especially since the hospital is not particularly familiar to you. Come and see you tomorrow. Don't forget my chocolate. Dark. Dark, okay. <laughs> yes, it's important. The room, the room. I can't stand it. Oh, no, but it's still important for you to lie down. Whoa! Oh. You must set the brakes on your wheelchair when you want to sit down or stand up. The footrest has to be lifted so that you don't trip. Keeping the brakes set on your wheelchair when you are not using it is a healthy habit. Your caregivers will gladly bring you a cane or a wheeled walker to help you move about. You must use them even at night and be sure to do so properly. It takes time to learn. Your physiotherapist will help you. Good. Move your hands forward. The left leg first. Use the bars. You move your... The right drip leg. stand is mobile. You should not lean on it. Make sure the intravenous drip tubes do not hinder your walking. Never hesitate calling your caregivers to ensure that everything is properly set up before you move about. Yes? Uh -oh. Woohoo! Come in. How are you? Thanks for coming. Oh, you look fine. Wow. The operation went really well. I feel great. Oh, chocolates. <laughs> Can you eat them? Of course, but later. Okay. You didn't forget what I asked for? Of course not. Ready? Ta-da! <laughs> I know they aren't very pretty. We asked the nurses and they said they were just fine. You can't slip. They're great. You're right. They're great. When I wore my socks, well, I slipped. Are you serious? No, really. That's ridiculous. Really, you should have asked. I'm sure they had them here at the hospital. Shall we try them out? Yes, let's try them out. Here we go. You should avoid slippers that do not hold the foot firmly. Closed, well-adapted shoes or slippers will prevent you from falling. Take some with you or ask your family to bring them. And be sure to use them whenever you move about. Good morning. How are you feeling today? Hello, doctor. Oh, no, not very well. I grew dizzy and almost fainted when I tried to get up from my chair yesterday. Fortunately, my neighbor caught me in time. It took me 10 minutes to recover. Mm, I see. It may well be the new blood pressure medication we prescribed. Uh-huh. We'll try reducing the dosage to eliminate the problem. Other than that, are you eating well? Ah, uh, I'm not eating a lot. Are the two things related? It's not a well-known fact, but it's often the case that we eat less when we're in the hospital, and this increases the risk of falling. We can have a dietitian come and see you if you like. Okay. In that case, please do. Thank you. As we discussed in the room, I'm going to reduce her antihypertensive drug dose and prescribe a consultation with a dietitian. You might receive treatment in hospital that makes you unsteady in the first few days. Tell your doctor or nurse if this occurs. Do not try moving about on your own. Take a moment to sit on the edge of your bed before getting up. Numerous hospital falls can be avoided. Patient caregiver cooperation is important for your safety and to reduce the risk of hurting yourself. We can work together to prevent falls. Inform your caregivers if you fell before entering the hospital. Express your fear of falling or of falling again, so that together we can take all necessary precautions to ensure your safety. Mm -hmm.